Hello, I'm Andrea from the Creative Dream Incubator and for today's daily dream journal video I'm sharing my weekly planning page and I'm probably going to share a planning page every Monday with this series because I think it's really important to always be thinking about and looking at how we're living our lives, right? Um, so the planner for me is kind of like where my inner work of my journal and my working with my dreams, um, where all of that combines with um, the realities of my life and, and what I'm doing um, on a day-to-day -day basis. So um, sometimes people skip planning, like if you have a job um, with a regular schedule or anything with when you're in some kind of regular routine, it can feel like, why bother? Um, and I think why bother? Because you can look at what, what's going on and start to make little changes here and there. Like you, there's always space for something to change and um, you can always bring more of what you want into your day-to-day -day life even if you can't make huge changes. So I just think such a, such a valuable process to do, to spend. I mean, I tend to spend about, well, at least an hour, one to three hours on this every week. Um, but if you even spend 15 minutes, that would be really cool. So I do my weekly planning differently every week. And that's because I'm different every week. My needs are different. My my dreams are different. My schedule is different. And um, so I made the Dream Planner kit that's in that's a part of the Year of Dreams. Um, and the kit has lots of different elements to it because there's lots of different things involved in planning. And so if you're doing the dream planning with me or the year of dreams. I want to encourage you to go in there and try something you haven't tried yet. Because um, especially the things that we feel are not for us, usually there's a lot for us to learn in those things. Right? Um, so this week I'm just using one of the plain um, little squares here to put my priorities for the week. Um, and then I use the Creative Genius um, planning sessions. That's an audio that leads you through an energy alchemy process connecting more with your dream, connecting with your intuition so that you're planning from that place of deep connection. Because like your dream, it, well your, your dream is a miracle so it has like miracle things that it can teach you about how to make it real. And if you're just planning from your day-to-day -day, um, busy mind, you're just gonna come up with to-dos and should-dos and kind of um, you're gonna kind of keep doing what you've always been doing. Um, maybe you'll push yourself to do more, or but, but there's really a really limited amount of change you can create in, in your life when you're coming from that um, frame of mind. And so if you take five minutes to come at it from a more expanded frame of mind, more holistic, so you're more connected to your own intuition and inner wisdom, but also more connected um, to your dream, uh, then the answers you get about what should you do this week have changed dramatically. So um, that's what I do and that's how I choose. I usually do five. There's three here right now but I'm still working on this so I'll probably have five um, things that I really want to do this week and if you even if you do one every week um, that will move you towards your your dream right? Um, and then on the other this week I just chose an incubator and as I was playing around with the process for the, the planning process for this, um, I realized I wanted to put delight in there and kind of incubate delight over the week and hold delight with me over the week. And then it felt really familiar. And then I looked back at last week's planning. That's just the video I shared last Monday. And it's like, let it delight you. I was using that, um, the mandala from last week. So I guess delight has uh, more to teach me. And it does feel like something like delight is 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 one of my teachers right now, so I want to keep keep holding it and keep learning from it. So I still have have more to do here, but I just want to encourage you, if, like, um, spend some time, think about like how do I want to feel this week, what kind of qualities do I want to hold with me this week, like what does my dream really need from me, and the more willing you are to give your dream what it needs, um, the easier it's going to be to make it real. 